Okay, so today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to fix the brake issue that we have in the pro in the front. So what basically happened? Obviously, the forks were leaking. Oil got on the calipers and on the brakes and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart, um, take the brake pads out, uh, try to sand them down a little bit so I can get most of the nasty oil off of it, and then I'm gonna sand lightly the the rotors on both sides just so I can make sure it's all smooth and um, <clears throat> so the and make sure there's no oil on there either so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the jack and then I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping it apart Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use some brake cleaner. Make sure I clean the caliper because it is smothering oil, which I, I just stupidly left like that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. Um, I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna sand, uh, sand the brake pads slightly. There, there is oil on them, as you can tell. Fingers clean much oil there is that's not good so that prevents it from breaking and since the brake pads actually not grabbing to the rotor it uh, causes it to slip and eventually overheats and your whole brake system is toast and you'll, you'll have to replace it so taking precaution on here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the caliper and then the rotor Okay, so I got one of them sanded down. You can clearly tell that the bottom one's been sanded down. Um, it does look a lot better, uh, no oil on it. It does seem a little bit slippery still, but it's definitely not as bad as this one. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this one and I'm, we'll check if it works properly. Okay, so. I'm actually gonna sand the brake pads again on this block of wood. So I have 100 right here. I was using uh, 320, which is good for the rotors, but I don't think it's taking enough material out of the brake pads for them to be uh, clean again. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand these down now and we'll see how they turn out. I already got the other one all timed down everything put back together so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this side and do the exact same thing to this one
Okay, so I finished putting together the other side. Um, I did realize that this rim is actually bent right here. You can clearly tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down and um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of wood and try to hammer it back down so it sits nice and flush. Um, and yeah, I believe that's it. We already cleaned the brakes, everything, cleaned the rotor again, sanded it. Yeah, let's pump the brakes. Never forget to do that. There we go. <laughs> All right, so last time I checked, it braked pretty well. Uh, we're gonna put it down. Up Okay, so I got the front wheel aired up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back just in case if it did leak. Doesn't look like it, but just to be sure, I'll put some more in. And I actually have to, oh yeah, yeah, we have to remove the dent from the rim. So I'll do that, and then we're gonna have to go back and bleed the rear brakes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I got it a little bit better. Got it a little bit more straight. Um, so it didn't really work that well, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and the cover so I can in, uh, put on some more dot four um, brake fluid. <laughs> Okay, so once I took off this uh, this um, cover, I realized that there's a bunch of fluid in there, but for some reason the rear brakes are not working. So I'm gonna guess um, it has air in the system, so I'm gonna go ahead and bleed it just to make sure. Uh, hopefully it works. So let's bleed the system real quick. <laughs> I need to fix the idle problem so I need to go ahead and take off the tank so I can adjust it a little bit because as I said earlier it does run a little bit too rich with the controller uh, the power commander that it has installed so you gotta take off the seat the tank so I have access to the throttle bodies uh, so I can add a little bit more um, a little bit more throttle in there so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the seat in the gas tank okay so I already got the tank loose this basically just folds down like that oh that's the fuel pump but basically here are the throttle bodies and with that screw right here the one that's only um, the 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 basically the black screw that one gives it more throttle so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it from the jack so I can turn it on and I can check uh, the idle where it it runs more smoothly all right so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so I can uh, fix the idle.
idle at about a little warm up and I put the idle down a little bit so it lays flat on a thousand uh, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back together and I'm gonna go ahead and write it to see uh, if the brake pads work or if I have to do anything else to it she is ready so I'm gonna go ahead and just go around the block a few times make sure the brake pads are okay uh, make sure they do work because I know one side was working before but now hopefully both sides work so I'm just gonna go ahead around the I'm gonna go go around the neighborhood a few times so I can really see how well they're doing <laughs> 